In the 10,000 long years since the Horus Heresy, the Imperium of Man has dealt with countless chaos incursions and traitorous revolts that if left unchecked would unravel into a sector-wide war. At the heart of these terrible atrocities is almost always the mark of a chaos-based marine warband. And it had become easier and easier for the great bureaucratic war machine that is the Imperium to detect and respond to these malevolent threats. It is the Emperor's greatest warriors that are always dispatched to eradicate these traitors before their malice can take root on a world. However, the Imperium has on numerous occasions found itself tricked by the most inconspicuous force. Cultist revolts that in theory should have acted as no problem for a well-trained planetary defense force, but were somehow tactically outmatching the Imperium. They managed to poison planets with little effort. These intentionally mundane uprisings are fashioned by none other than Lone Wolf Chaos Space Marines. They are known as the Forsaken. Unlike their Chaos-empowered brethren, these heretical Astartes care little for the massive martial maneuverings of superhuman and demonic armies. Instead of Forsaken is but one mutant demigod who can outmatch the Imperium's greatest commanders, but who is mysteriously mistrusted by his own kind. And with that said, I want to welcome you guys back to another 40 Facts about the 40k Universe. I am your host, Gersh1, and today we're going to be talking about the Chaos Space Marine Forsaken. If you guys are new to the channel, we post Warhammer 40k lore videos every single day. I try to combine the lore with some aspect of the hobby. In this video, at the end, I'm going to be showing you guys how to kit bash your own Forsaken. It's kind of, it's really going to be a corn Forsaken, so I guess you could say it's going to be a conversion video on how to take a Primaris Marine and turn him into a uh, Coronet Berserker. If you guys enjoy this type of content, consider hitting the like button, sharing with your friends, and telling the YouTube algorithm that you want to see more by commenting down in the comment section below. We also have a Patreon, so thank our patrons on Patreon. It is because of them that we can do these types of videos. Link in the description if you guys want to support us. But with all of that said, let's get into 40 facts on the Forsaken. When a heretical Astarte has been marked as a Forsaken, he has parted ways with his other Chaos Space Marine Battle Brothers and seeks to complete his own agenda. Generally, these heretics are loners, distrusted by others, and reliant only on themselves. However, they never lack the confidence necessary to complete a task, even if they lack the manpower. A Forsaken must adopt the mantra of becoming the cleverest and most resourceful individual in a mission. He needs to be able to thoroughly research a target and ensure his precise actions will succeed. Though he is always mindful of his own goals and continuously working towards them, these independent attitudes make him more likely to be part of a human warband. The Forsaken are more willing to admit that there are certain tasks that human heretics can accomplish that the Forsaken cannot. They are among the Chaos Space Marines most likely to be found working with non-heretical Astarte warbands and organizations. What makes the Forsaken so unique is that they are drawn to a particular facet of Chaos and driven to spread its influence. While this might be a Chaos God, it could also be a rogue demon or even a conceptual issue. While these heretics are certainly capable of unleashing their martial abilities just like any other Chaos Space Marine, their abilities are often matched by a surprising amount of knowledge, be it philosophical, political, ancient, heretical, or even sorcerous. It's almost like taking the mind of Dr. Cornell West or Neil deGrasse Tyson and attaching it inside of a Chaos Space Marine body. As a matter of fact, the Forsaken might be more concerned with the message that the battle carries to those who hear about it than the actual success on the battlefield. This thirst for knowledge may even be connected to why the Forsaken has parted ways with his other Chaos Space Marine battle brothers. There are those Forsaken whose goals are completely self-centered. He might desire to become a powerful warlord, or simply delight in expanding his reputation as a lone and incredibly deadly warrior. He may even simply seek the thrill of new challenges and new locales to explore and pillage, or even just wish to pillage and loot his way into wealth like someone who invested into Safe Moon the first week it came out. What actions these heretical Astartes will do in order to complete their goals is as diverse as the goals themselves. They may inspire chaos cults, foment unrest, or carry out acts of sabotage and destructions on the rotting edifice of the Imperium of Man. But another thing that makes these guys so strange is that even if they form some type of cult or subversive organization, these warriors are often too idealistic to become capable leaders and are happy to pass off the direct rule of their cult to someone else. Just as they continuously rebel against authority, they are often incapable of respecting anybody who obeys them. That's why the Forsaken usually have no desire to rule or lead. The only drive that they do have is the desire to destroy, to unmake, or to gain revenge. This drive is usually created by some outside influence that made him originally turn from heretic to a Forsaken. For example, his brothers in arms may have betrayed him, or they may have been slaughtered completely, he might even be a loyalist space marine who turned to chaos and fled his chapter. 
Now he operates alone and with a carefully selected cadre of like-minded individuals. These others might be humans who have similar beliefs and are willing to discuss them in such a way that the Forsaken is capable of viewing them as near peers. If the Forsaken was betrayed or a sole survivor of a warband, then he's likely to be engaged in a quest for vengeance. The target of his fury could be an Imperial organization, but it might also be a Xeno or even another Chaos Aligned warband, and his vengeance might involve the crippling, humiliation, or even utter destruction of that target. Because of this, most of these types of Forsaken rarely plan for an existence after the success of their mission. Most readily accept their impending martyrdom as an acceptable price to pay for their revenge. At the same time, because of this, they go to great lengths to make sure that they live long enough to accomplish their goal. This is especially true for those instances where the Forsaken's comrade has been slain. If he still holds a loyalty to his deceased brethren, the notion that he is acting in his name may be a tremendous motivation. Most Forsaken are seldom occupied with the notion of becoming a demon prince, though not against the idea of apothesis. Their goals are most focused upon their beliefs and their hunger. Now, when it comes to being empowered by chaos, the Forsaken do fear the doom of becoming a chaos spawn, particularly if their transformation were to happen prior to completing their task. The very notion of submitting to another's will, no matter the power behind it, is almost always anathema to the Forsaken. Because of the diversity of their mission, and because they're marked as an outcast, the Forsaken are great mercenaries, but at the same time, they are the most dangerous mercenary for any heretical warband to accept. Now that we know the lore to the Forsaken, let's build one. In reality, this is a how to convert a Primaris Assault Intercessor into a Chaos Space Marine, more specifically a Coronet Berserker. This is what we get when we buy an Intercessor Squad. The model has an awesome pose, but we have to make a lot of modifications to turn it into a heretical Astarte. The first thing that I need to do is get rid of the helmet. Luckily, I don't have to make any modifications to the head because I'm simply going to swap it out with the Coronet Berserker head from the Age of Sigmar kit. Along with the head from that kit, I will also be swapping out the chain sword and the left arm with a coronet axe and its arm. To make the model more chaotic or grim dark, I will be using the skulls from the GW Skull Kit. I'm going to be cutting them down so that I can layer them across the trader's right shoulder plate. I will also take some pieces from a Tyranid Hormagon Kit and add spiky bits to the shoulder pad. And as you can see, the model already looks like a true heretical Astarte. The only thing it's missing is some chain. I attached each of the weapons to the marine's belt with some random toy jewelry I had laying around. I would recommend you use better and thinner chain, you can find it at your local hobby store, but for the standalone Forsaken miniature, he doesn't look too bad. Let me know what you guys think down in the comments section below, I didn't get a chance to actually paint this guy, but there is another coronet model that I have laying around that I also need to paint, so I'll probably create a 40 facts about a coronet berserker in the near future, and I'll paint both of them. Subscribe to the channel to get that. If you guys have suggestions for any other topics of 40k that you guys would like us to cover, just let me know what it is in the comments section below, or any specific hobby type of videos that you guys want me to do, let me know what it is in the comments section below. I am working on orc terrain that one's taking me a lot longer just because it's terrain and there's a lot of painting involved so it's a lot of drying big pieces or big pieces need to dry and then I need to apply different things so that one's taking me a little bit longer but like I said just subscribe to the channel because there's more good stuff coming in the in the future thank you guys so much for listening and I'll talk to you tomorrow also, thanks so much for all the uh, awesome comments that you guys have been leaving behind uh, in the comment section in previous videos. I see that you guys are really enjoying this like lore and hobby um, video combination. I'll just keep trying to create as much as I can. You guys can help me out by, by doing what you're doing, which is hitting the like button and commenting down below. So thank you guys so much. Uh, talk to you tomorrow. This is Gersh1 with One Mind Syndicate signing out. <laughs>